Hi, I'm Dave Vickers and welcome to The Photo Show. In today's episode, I'm going to explain why I think Sony should buy Nikon. Now before we start, I know I can already feel everybody's fingers hovering over the keyboard waiting to comment over what I just said. But please hear me out. Recently, Nikon have announced what they are calling extraordinary losses with their camera division. And this isn't the first time this has happened. By my calculations, this is the third time that Nikon have announced what they call extraordinary losses since 2017. Now, like any major company, it's very difficult for them to keep making financial losses and to continue working as they are. Now, this is a video that I put off making for quite a while because I knew it was going to be a controversial topic. But over the weekend, Tony and Chelsea Northrup posted a video talking about this exact subject. And in that, they speculated about some possible mergers for Nikon. They speculated about Apple, they speculated about Google, and possibly Samsung. But I do think they left the main player out. I think that Sony should buy Nikon's camera division. Now, Nikon is a huge company, but the camera division makes up almost 50% of their revenue. And over the past few years, Nikon have invested a lot of money into new factories and manufacturing in Japan. But with the falling camera sales and the financial crisis that's definitely going to be coming after the coronavirus outbreak, it's going to be very difficult for Nikon to carry on as they are. And a brand like Nikon is a legacy brand. They do have a massive place in the marketplace. The professional camera market is dominated by Canon and Nikon. No matter how much the other camera manufacturers try and make a play for this market, Canon and Nikon still dominate the professional camera market. And mergers and joint ventures between other manufacturers are not unusual. If you go back to around 2008, Panasonic had their Lumix LX3. At the same time, Leica had their Dlux4. Now, if you look at both of these cameras, they're the same camera. Panasonic made the camera and Leica put a badge on it. If you look at the specifications, they're virtually identical. The main difference is one has a Panasonic badge and one has a Leica badge. And I'll let you guess which one costs more. Going back earlier than that, Fujifilm have had collaborations with other camera manufacturers. They had a collaboration with Hasselblad with their X-Pan cameras. And back in the early 2000s, if you bought a Fujifilm S2, that was exactly the same body as a Nikon D100. It was only the electronics and the menu systems that were different. But why would Sony want to buy Nikon? Why not just kill off the competition and take over? Because the Nikon name would give Sony access to the professional market and also access to a massive range of lenses. Now it's a fairly open secret, although Nikon have never said so, that the sensors within most Nikon cameras are made by Sony. So there's already some form of crossover there. But what would Nikon gain out of this? Well, one, Nikon would gain the financial clout of an organization like Sony, but it would also gain the R&D and development side of Sony. One of the sides where Nikon has been lacking over the past few years and being caught out by virtually everyone is on the video side. If you combine Sony's capability for video with Nikon's capability for making high-end professional cameras, you're really going to start to have something that works. And as I was saying, Nikon is a legacy brand. If Sony owns the Nikon brand name, it gives them that credibility in the pro market. Now, I'm going to use an example here that's nothing to do with cameras. BMW own Rolls-Royce. BMW didn't need to buy Rolls-Royce. BMW are a very, very successful company. Yeah, BMW make beautiful cars, but they didn't have that high-end prestige name. If you're a member of the royal family, a CEO of a major business, you're going to be wanting to drive somewhere in a Rolls-Royce, not a BMW 7 Series. So by buying Rolls-Royce, BMW bought themselves a luxury name. On the, in the same time, Rolls-Royce gained all of BMW's research and development and manufacturing. You don't look at a Rolls-Royce now and think there's a BMW. You look at a Rolls-Royce and think that's a Rolls-Royce, but it's owned by BMW. They're not the only ones. Volkswagen owns Bentley. If you're a professional footballer, it doesn't matter how good a Volkswagen Passat is. You're not turning up to training in that. You're turning up to training in a Bentley Continental. And there's other examples. Audi owned Lamborghini. And I think using something like that as a reference point is a really good way of saying why I think Sony should buy Nikon. Can imagine if you had access to Sony's research and development, finance, manufacturing, and put that into the next generation of Nikon cameras, they could definitely dominate the market. Sony would gain a prestige brand. They would also gain access to all of Nikon's lens range. 
so both companies would end up benefiting from it. Nikon have to do something. They can't keep absorbing this kind of losses and keep going. But you also can't let a brand like Nikon die. If you look at what happened with Kodak, Kodak was a 100-year-old brand that didn't innovate and didn't move into the digital era and therefore suffered. The name Kodak is now just licensed out. There's been a Kodak mobile phone. There's been a Kodak digital currency. And that does nothing to help the brand. That does nothing but hurt the image of Kodak. Nikon can't afford that to happen. Nikon have a place in the market and they need to expand their finances and they need to expand their research and development into new cameras for the future. So there you go. That's my reason why I think that Sony should buy Nikon. I know you're going to disagree. So there you go. Hit your keyboards, type away. Let's see what happens in the comments below. I'd really love to hear what you think. I've been a Nikon user for years and I would hate to see them fail and go down the pan. But I'd be much happier if Sony bought Nikon and they all continued. For now, I'm Dave Vickers. This is The Photo Show. Please stay safe and well, and I'll see you next time.